Hi, Levi. How are you? Meet yeah, the executive good. director. So this is going to be a fun one, because Ryan said, yeah, we're going to grill a salad. <laughs> I started laughing. Oh, going to Whiskey Barbecue. I'm grilling lettuce. All right, so a lot of people, it's like, oh, you just grill meat, you grill meat. But grilled vegetables are really good because it releases sugars, it releases some of the other moistures, it gives fun textures, it does things like that. So we did, uh, I got some imperfect produce, and this is a head of romaine lettuce they sent us. So we're going to grill it. Turns out imperfect produce is pretty decent. Not bad. Yeah, we had a hard time distinguishing why like half the box isn't imperfect. Well, it's only because the other half of the box was those two carrots. <laughs> so <laughs> the carrots were the size of baseball bats. Yeah. Like legit. They were, they were amazing. So whenever you're doing grilled, uh, best to grill romaine because it's long, it stays together pretty well, and you can get a good grill on it. So. Peel off the leaves on the outside that are kind of broken. If there's stuff that's hanging off the top, it's loose, get that. You want to take about an inch of the very top of it off, inch, two inches of the very top off. Just cut that smooth off. And don't waste this stuff. I mean, like Evan has he cooked a brisket on the kettle he's very proud of. You can take some of these same leaves. They're still edible. They're just not going to grill very well because they're going to fall apart. You can do a lettuce wrap with that. You can do those kind of things if you have any gluten-free people around. Which I have. Yes. There's yes. like a lot of kids here. There are like a lot of kids here. So, whenever you're going to do this, first thing you're going to do, take about an inch or two off the top, make it nice and even. Then, where you see the part right here that's got the discoloration, just cut a little bit of that off until the discoloration's gone. But you want to leave everything still intact. Ooh, that's fresh. Wow. That's very fresh. Holy cow. That's like I walked into a greenhouse. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of take a look at where the leaves and everything are growing up and you split it long ways, right down. And it should all stay together. A leaf falls off, take it off. But that's kind of what you're looking for. I just learned something new. What? It's the first time I've ever seen how to split romaine. Oh, okay. And then if you're making a, just a salad, cut it in half and just dice it along, make the ribbons, good for a salad. Now, to prep this, it's really, really important. This has already been rinsed and everything else. I already shook everything dry. Whenever you rinse it out, kind of put water down the inside, get everything in, and then grab it by this portion and just shake it to get all the water out of it. Because if you leave water in it, it's going to steam. It's going to make nasty, wilty lettuce. That's not cool. So, real easy prep. Oh, grill set to medium, medium high, because you're going to grill this real fast. Um, cut side down over direct heat and then you're gonna flip it over to where it's uncut or cut side up and you're gonna let it roast for about three to four minutes while it kind of breaks down a little bit. Has some cheese and things that are melt on it. We got some cool stuff that's gonna go on it. So a little bit of avocado oil. I like avocado oil because it doesn't burn. Remember we're gonna sear this real hard real fast so I don't want that to get all messed up. Get some of the oil down inside of it. I don't have a towel out here, so we're doing this kind of caveman style. This is one part salt, one part pepper. And it's about a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of garlic, and I also threw about a quarter teaspoon of comino in there because it would give a little bit of smoky flavor while it roasts. And just season it appropriately. Spread it out, get some of the seasonings down in it. Don't be afraid. So we've been using this rub, if you will, this spice mixture mm -hmm. throughout our channel. Mm -hmm. You can go back to one of the earliest videos and see that this is the exact same stuff that we use. The versatility of it <laughs> is unreal. Yeah, it, it's, dude, I'm lazy and I'm real simple. We've been over this, <laughs> I'm real simple. All right, so onto the grill. You're gonna take it, cut side down, put it directly on the grill grate. kind of press it where you get some sear on it. This is one of those things that you'll start hearing the food talk to you. So what you'll hear is it start to release some of the water. It's gonna sear kind of hard. It's gonna get good flavor going on to it. Because the Maillard reaction is whenever anything browns, it doesn't just happen with meat. When anything browns, it causes flavors to release, sugars to change, 
chemically. That's where different flavors come from from grilled meat. That's why it's different than necessarily doing it in a cast iron skillet. Turn. Let's press. Grab that. That's basically what you're looking for. Take a look. Wow. So now you're just going to put it off to the side. Let it relax. I had two burners over here on. Over here is low. And because feta makes everything better. Sprinkle some feta cheese on it. We're going to close that. It's going to go for just a couple minutes. Not very long at all. Next, imperfect produce lemon. To get juice out of your lemon, one thing that's always a good thing to do is roll it on your board. Because what that does is all of the membranes and everything on the inside, it breaks those up where your juices are easier to squeeze out. How much pressure do you push on it when you roll? Just kind of whenever you press on it, to where you feel it kind of give underneath you, kind of change the shape a little bit. Okay. Not smashing it in the board. Oh, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that smells it's like lemon. lemonade. Yeah, it does. I mean, that is 4th of July. All right. You come inside because it's hot and there's lemonade. Oh man, that smelled good. Throw some lemon on there, get that going. I'm doing this other one because this is actually smelling really good. Yeah, I'm is. gonna get me one of these. I'm gonna get me one of these. Well, we're over at Evan's house, so a lot of times whenever I cook over here, I'm like, yeah, that looks really great and did a really good cook. And it, but then we drink and I go back and like all the food's gone. I'm like, hmm, okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm not complaining. He has a system, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> All right, so whenever we come back, we'll have this next one on. We'll pull the other one off. Just get a quick salad dressing on top of it. And we're going to dig in. That's good enough. All right, so fed has gotten kind of crumbly. Move it up a little bit. That's all the difference. Not as potent. Wait till the sweetness. So, not gonna lie, basic craft Greek uh, vinaigrette. It's got a good balsamic flavor. It's got some Parmesan in it, a little bit of garlic. Vinaigrette is good with feta. Mm -hmm. They they do well together. This much I know. A little more than I wanted, but oh well. We're grilling soup today. Do get over. Whenever you do this, it's kind of cool. You can split it in half. The core gets softer. Once you've grilled it, you can just split it in half and serve it to your guests, just like this. And through the magic of TV, forks. Forks. How amazing is that? Thank you, TV. You're so magical. I don't have high hopes, if I'm honest. I'll be it. <laughs> Just stop doubting me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Well. Yeah. Yeah. What a simple way to do a salad. <laughs> All right, this one's going into the wifey. Both the fork and the little the tube kid. here. Yeah. All Thanks right. for hanging out with us. Until next time, you know what to do. Learn, learn. learn. Cheers. Perfect.